Hi everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on brayering with the oxide inks. Um, it's a really, really nice effect actually, especially using the water. Um, okay, so these are the three colours that I've picked for today. They work really nicely together. So. I'm going to start with the Mermaid Lagoon. Taking uh, a piece of our multifarious card, which is a, a really nice, thick, uh, super smooth card, great for stamping, but it takes uh, a lot of ink and a lot of water. So, placing that down and then inking up the brayer. I'm just going to sweep that over the edge of the card and then fading out as I come further up. If you do this quite quick, then you won't get any lines. It actually blends quite well. Now, if you want to add a little bit more colour, just repeat that process. starting at the edge and then bray it nice and quickly over the edge like so. Okay so I'm going to add a little bit of um, depth to the card and um, this is blueprint sketch. So inking up And then along the edge, just bring in a little bit of that other colour. And it just gives you a really nice uh, two-tone, as you can see. Okay, so using some water and a brush, a fan brush, we're just going to tap just a little bit of water over the edge here and this pulls out the colour. The longer you leave it, the more it bleaches out. And then I'm just going to dab that off with a piece of kitchen towel. You can just have a play and you know put put as much water on as you want. It gives a, a really nice effect. Okay. So now I'm going to use the uh, wilted violet distress oxide and I'm going to bray this over the top now. Now this time I'm going to take just a little bit off first and then take the edge off and then lightly go over the top. And this won't take too much of the other colour away. And then we're going to go back to the water. And again, tap a little bit of that over the top. It's all about getting um, an effect, a different kind of an effect. I'm going to heat that up just to quicken the process. And then just using the kitchen towel, 
dabbing those last bits of water off. And as you can see, it just gives you um, a really nice, effective background with lots of different colour going on. Okay, so now we've got our background, I'm going to stamp onto the card now. This time we're going to be using the Versifying Claire. This is the black. Just check that the stamp is completely covered. I'm just going to take that little bit off there. And then we're just going to pop that down, give that a bit of a press. Don't be in a rush to do this. It's always good just to sort of let your stamp rest on the paper or card for a while, just so that it soaks in. That way you get a really nice solid uh, silhouette. Okay. And then taking our, this is one of our new fairies. Again, inking her up in the black. And then we're just going to pop her down on top of the mushroom. Giving that a good press again, leaving her rest on the card. Like so. Okay. So we're going to use some other blue uh, Versafine Claire's now, just to add a little bit of depth to the card. Um, it's always good to have a focal point in black, but then use different colours just to get foregrounds, backgrounds, uh, as I'm about to show you now. So, this is one of my favourite stamps actually. Inking up, this time we're going to be inking up in Warm Breeze. Now we're moving over to a, another stamp. This is our fox glove. And inking up, this time in paradise. I must admit they think of some fab names for these ink pads. Okay, so Stamping down again 
onto the card and look at that that's just a fabulous blue Okay, so I'm going to use one of our other stamps now. This is the um, Whimsical Wisps, which has been a really popular stamp amongst you all. And this time using the uh, Blue Bell. Okay. I'm just filling in the gaps here. There we go. So I think what we need now is a little butterfly. Inking up this time in the twilight. And just pop that butterfly just on the edge there. There we go. So I'm going to finish off now by taking um, a mask for our sun, popping that over the top. And then using one of the smoothies, make sure you haven't got too much ink on your smoothie because you just want a subtle um, aura to the um, moon or the sun. And then from the centre, just flick the sponge out. You can build the depth up gradually. Don't be tempted to just put a lot of ink on first time. Okay. I've actually used the the warm breeze to uh, blend around the edge of this. It's a nice light turquoise blue. Okay, so take that off and uh, you've got a really nice glow there behind the fairy. Um, and what I'm going to do now is um, I've inked up in the uh, Versifying Claire, uh, the yellow one. I can't actually remember what that one was called, but it's it's just a, a really nice yellow. Again, take that off. We only want a tiny little bit, and then very lightly. We're just going to go over the top. And this just 
adds a little bit more again and of course yellow been a great complementary colour to blue so that just finishes it off really nicely okay so using our uh, jelly roll this is our glitter glitter one clear one I'm just gonna go around the very edge of the moon don't overthink it too much just just go for it and then I'm just going to put a little bit in the wings here just flicking that out in the direction of the wings and just a little bit around the edge of the fairy just to give her a little bit of a glow okay so not sure whether you can see that I'm hoping you can but it's just really nice and subtle and there we go well I hope you enjoyed that obviously you can use whatever colors you want um, to create your backgrounds but today I just worked with some really nice blues thanks for that then guys Speak to you soon. Bye.